you realize real quick, the world is white <laughs> and you are not. <laughs> MJ's new toy actually came today. We ordered it from Amazon. It's like a little sit and spin type thing. It's his first little toy. Like he can he can hold his head up. So we figured it was time to maybe get him like a sit and play toy so he's not just always like laying on his back you know what i'm saying kids like to do stuff i think sometimes that's the reason he whines because he's just like bored and he wants to do something you know he's grabbing things and i think this will really help him with his like hand eye coordination and with standing and getting his back stronger and sitting up and all that stuff so i'm so excited i'm gonna attempt to put it together mark was excited too i wish it would have came while he was here but i'm excited to put it together so i'm gonna attempt attempt mj to put it together right now and we'll see how that goes and i'll let y'all watch me and we'll see if i could do it or not <laughs> say hey hey say i got my new toy yeah say i got my new toy see i'm gonna play today but i gonna play today i gotta spit up on me y'all all of that but we're gonna try to do this here's the toy right here i'm just covering up my dress right here but there's the cute little toy that we're gonna have him sit in. Super excited. Let's give it a try, MJ. So I'm gonna get him in here. But I did it! Look at it, y'all! His first big boy toy. It's really elaborate, too. Let's see how he acts and how he likes it. Let say, what is this? Let say, what is this? What do you think? <laughs> Look at you. What day is it today? It's it's Wednesday and my first day of school. First day of what grade? I'm in first grade. First grade. She's a big girl now with no teeth. Oh. All right, let's go put on that first day of school dress. Remember I told you what I tell you got to be today. Proud. And. Um, Confident. Yeah, don't, be whis don't be whispering. Alright? Like That's how you be whispering on a Zoom call and then you'll be stand tall and talk with confidence when you speak, alright? Well, what if I speak too loud? Well, you won't speak too loud. No such thing. You're a big girl and you're a smart girl, okay? Ah, uh, Chris is breaking up. Hey, fat man. Good morning, fat man. Oh, Daddy loves you. Somebody slept from 10 to now, <laughs> and it's 7.50. They're so sweet when they want to be. Mariah said, since, it, <laughs> since it's 
since it's your first day of school, you can sit in the front if you want to. Because y'all know we have a third seater. So one of them sits in the second row with uh, MJ. And the other one sits in the third row. And so they always switch off. And Mariah sat in the third row yesterday. But she said Morgan can sit in the third row. I mean, in the second row again today because no, it's the first day. No, I sit in the I sit in the I sit in the second row. No, I sit in the front yesterday. And mom. Oh, you did. Yes. Oh, I'm mom. She's gonna do another sweet then. Mom, what? Since Raya Sarah can sit in the front today, since it's my first day of school, she gets to be in my pictures. That's Yay. very nice. All right, I let's go take some first day of school photos. Yay. All right, let's take some pictures. Okay. Here. Don't mention it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just kidding. Here, hold your um, sign. Don't touch the chalk. Remember? Oh. Be careful. Cause it's about a garage. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready? Yeah. Get the camera. next stop was going to be to the house. We up in here. Well, about to be up in here. It's humid out here. It's fogged up the camera. Let's go. Watch, don't t don't make sure your clothes don't get on that thing. Well, he said cabinets and sinks will be next week. And flooring is at the end of this week. My house is big. You like it? Yeah. What do we A closet? Nothing but a closet. Nothing but a closet. Look at your new big playroom. Whoa. Whoa. That's that cheap? You can definitely get that cheaper. Oh yeah. Mommy and daddy's bathroom. Yeah, that's mommy and daddy's bathtub. Whoa. For touching it. <laughs> this is mommy's closet. It's daddy's closet. I said it's not bigger than yours, but it's not as big as it is now. <laughs> I think it's kind of pretty common. Not love it. Good. Another year, another car pickup line. Last year, we had to actually walk into the school and sign them out. Y'all remember we talked to y'all about that? Well, I used to talk to y'all about that all the time. Because, um, I was irritated because so many people would be there so early. This year, 
Um, you know, because of Corona, we can't go inside the school. So we just took Mariah to her kindergarten screening. She did really well. And we just decided to wait on Morgan to get out of school. So this year, there's a car pickup line. And I mean, the line is long. Like, it, you come into... You come into Daddy, the parking yes. lot. What do you think of my newbie with my pencil? You come into the parking lot the and you have to loop all the way around and come like back to the front to pick the kids up. It's really weird. So we're one of the first cars in line, but this line is getting long. And we've been sitting here for 30 minutes. It ain't been no 30 minutes. Almost. almost. We've been sitting here for almost 30 minutes and we were the fourth car in line. That means parents are like anxious to pick these kids up. Like they wait. Yeah, because we like, wouldn't have been here this early. All these yeah. Games, and they used to be seeing I'm back here feeding Quees. Yeah. But we had, uh, we just happened to be here for Mariah's assessment. So I was like, ain't no um, point in leaving and coming back. So, uh, yeah, this car pickup line is long. I'm like, I'm either going to have to be first or last. It's going to be one or the other because I'm not sitting here for no 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, we're waiting on Morgan. Can't believe um, another school year is 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 come has come to us, and we have two in school. Well, technically three in school this time. So are oh, they asking for ID? She ain't got her tag. Said you ain't about to take somebody's child on our watch. Cause I was like, well, sure. When I was in elementary school, they just opened up the front doors and said, be free. I, we left. Walk, I walked home from school in kindergarten. I walked home. I, they didn't need to know how we was getting <laughs> home. Unless you was on a bus, obviously. Yeah. Other than that, they need to know how you was getting home. Who they open the front doors. Up? You leave. However you getting home. You walk. You get on. You we get in the car. They didn't care who car it was. You just get in. Like, Cause we used to have. We, used to, we did used to have those, um, those videos where they used to be like all those. Big, it was big on like not talking to strangers and not walking with people you don't know or don't take candy from strangers that type we had all those kind of talks all the time because we most of us walked home like so we just they just opened the door and we was out I think we're about to go out to eat y'all I think we're about to go to um, Hibachi and about Hibachi restaurant Hibachi Hibachi oh, <laughs> I ain't never seen no spoiled kids like this. You ask them what restaurant they want to go to. They want to go to Hibachi, Red Lobster. I don't have to raise my kid in an environment that I don't know nothing about how to raise them. And I don't know about being a minority in a school, well, an uh, elementary school, obviously college, the military, and life. How about that? That's life. You raising them for life. <laughs> All those people that came out of like the, the high school ones who or if they went to a high school like that, they went to college or or got in the workforce and was in a whole nother element. Like, I was, yeah, it was definitely like I said, what, is, remember, what is this? I remember the first time I stepped on the campus of University of Akron, like my group, I was like I was it was twelve of us that was on the campus tour. I was the only black person on my campus tour. That, and that's how it and that's how it is. Like they like you shoot, this how this our life gonna be. For me, you was a little different because you went to Catholic school. I went to a Catholic school, K through eighth grade. Right. From K through fourth grade, I was the only black kid, not in my class, but in the school. The school. So that was a little. That's the difference between me. And but then you. I went to an all black high school. But yeah, that's the difference between me and you. Like every school I went to, K through twelve, I was the majority. Like to see a non-black person was like very, very 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 slim like 90 percent of every school i went to was black so that was a bit of a culture shock to get to akron and be like oh wow and then to get to the military and it was really like oh wow yeah you realize real quick the world is white <laughs> and you are not <laughs> when you were kids you don't realize how minuscule some of the things that you think are trivial when you're a child when you become an adult like my I talk about that all the time like my best friend was in honors I had a couple of friends who went to like uh, like special high schools and nothing wrong with my upbringing I love my upbringing huh? but uh, I went to regular schools my whole life public school my whole life and I turned out pretty young um, pretty high well, I think I, that's why I, when we talk about like schools, like I'm, I'm happy with obviously moving our family into a better school district. That's I always want to put my kids in the best position. But when we talk about these high schools, now if you got it, 
It ain't tricking if you got it, okay? But when we talk about these high schools that cost as much as college tuition, I'm not paying that much for high school. We gonna send you, we live in a good school district, we gonna send you to this public school, we gonna work with you at home, and we gonna make sure you doing what you are supposed to do. I went to a high school where everybody didn't even have books. I mean, we shared books. You, you, like, I mean, it's uh, oh, so... You uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, my high school, we shared books and I made it, okay? And I'm doing pretty well for myself. So don't tell me that me sending you to this public high school, this is a good public high school. What is going on back here? What is going on back here? Oh, that's where the that other bottle went. What? <laughs> I'm like, what is this? I'll be drinking that tonight. All right, it's, it's 307. Where's she at? Oh, there she go. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Go, in, go on the other side. Careful. Hey, girl. Hey. First grader, girl. How'd it go? Sit down. Put your seatbelt on. So, take your mask off. Let us know all about it. How'd it go? Good. You like your teacher? Yeah. Miss Carmona? She nice? Yeah. What? I did, I did lots of things today. Like I what? Like Play-Doh. And I kind of hurt myself on the twisty slide because there's a bug on it. You want to slide in your dress? Yes. Okay. She need to wear some shorts if she going to wear it. Need to wear some shorts. What did you? What else? MJ. Ah! We doing some packing. Ah! We doing some packing. Yes, I just packed downstairs. We at this point, we not even packing. We packing all your shit because you got your shit everywhere. I need all this stuff. You don't need all this stuff. It's like two hundred bottles, dog. Ah! Come MJ. On, I, I, it. I did condense it. This Where? is the. I took everything out of there. Where? Condense where? I did condense it. It's like 200 bottles right here. It's gonna make no damn sense. I'm sorry you don't complain. You know how much stuff I'm taking with me from this lemon closet? Three body washes and some face time. And a couple face masks. Whatever. You got 200 bottles here. The rest of them packed up. I packed up a bunch. Whatever. Move! Oh, that's why 